Hello and welcome to America's Heartland. I'm Paul Ryan. Back in the early part of the 20th century, the soybean wasn't much more to the farmers in the heartland than a curiosity from faraway China. And people laughed when Henry Ford predicted soybeans would be the key to the future of American farming. But how things have changed, and no one's laughing now at the roughly 3 billion bushels of the versatile bean harvested from American soil each and every year. The soybean thrives in the rich soil of the Midwest. We visited Indiana to see how farmers there grow and process this star of American agriculture. Feels clean on weeds, it just needs more. Yeah, we might have to spray, but I hope not. Alan Kemper and his son Brian often walk their fields. Japanese fields. The family farms more than 2,000 acres near Lafayette, Indiana, a family farm dating way back to the 1880s. This farm's been five generations. My grandfather, uh, who I remember uh, picking corn in the ear, or, or actually he used to pick it by hand and throw it in the wagon. So uh, we've come a long ways in 50 years. Today, the Kempers raise beef cattle as well as corn, but soybeans have become an increasingly important crop for both this farm and American agriculture. About 40% of these beans, or over a third of them, could be exported, which we do in the U.S., to China, and good customer, Hong Kong, Mexico, Japan. So not only are we working with a, a U.S. market, we're producing these beans that could easily be turned into biodiesel. The biodiesel produced out of my soybeans could end up in Europe. More than 65 million acres of soybeans are grown in the U.S. each year. Plant properties for the beans make them useful in creating hundreds of products from biodiesel to animal feeds to salad dressings to soy products. Alan Kemper has long been involved with efforts to promote and produce the crop. On soybeans we do what we call a no-till where we're not disturbing the soil, we're not working the ground ahead of time. We're actually playing into the corn stubble from the last year. It keeps erosion down, it keeps uh, the water cleaner, pure, keeps it from less runoff. And it's just making a more healthy environment for the, for the soybeans. So, so where's the problem that you're having? The second row unit. That dude's bent big time. The seed box collapsed. You can feel it. Like a rock. Oh, yeah, it's clear Jammed. Over. For Alan, running the farm has well, become a cooperative venture with his son, oh, Brian. No, the we, we talk about... Uh, opportunities Cranks together, we talk together. about How equipment much together, and we talk inside. about uh, the whole host of uh, inputs. Well, I think a lot of farm operations don't have the opportunity and luxury and privilege to farm with their next generation. So it's my job to make sure that the farm operation or business goes to that next generation uh, the best it can. A good way of, for him to explain to me what needs to go on and how it needs to be done. I majored in um, business at Purdue, so I didn't major in ag at all, so he can, he te he's teaching me everything I need to know. The Kempers will farm just under 1,200 acres of soybeans this year, planting in the spring, harvesting in mid-September. And with each crop, they adjust their soybean varieties to meet changing market demands. We're into a, about a six-year program here on, throughout the industry of producing healthy oils, a healthier oil for the consumer. So you'll see it. Some of the varieties out there for a, a good, human, healthy oil. Um, clear on through to uh, biodiesel that you may drive in your Mercedes or run a semi or, or a locomotive. Today, China and South America are challenging America's lead in soybean production. For Alan Kemper, that means farmers and plant researchers have to make each acre count. We're getting plants that are healthier. That means they're more adaptable in a lot of different continents. We're doing it in a much more environmentally friendly way. And we're out here today in 160 acres. That's basically 160 football fields of soybeans uh, that, are, uh, that are not only look nice, but they're saving the soil. They're good for the environment. They're good for the consumer as well as my family who eats that same product. Allen says the future of American agriculture depends on farmers keeping current with tools, technology, and consumer needs. It's very important for the farmers to, to stay involved. Their responsibility does not end at the gallon of milk that's coming off the cow. It actually ends when the consumer is drinking it and says, yes, it's a good product. We need to promote our products or we need to make sure our policies that we need 
out here on business or farming are implemented. And our story's told also to the consumers.